Microsoft To Do was fast becoming the place to manage your personal productivity and tasks. In a recent change, you've also become able to manage the tasks that are assigned to you from Microsoft Planner. I'm Daryl of the service and we're going to take a quick look at the integration now available between Microsoft Planner and Microsoft To Do. Microsoft To Do recently enabled you to manage your flagged email from Outlook. And this is something that when you are going through your email and you flag it to say I want to get back to working on this email later on, you're now able to manage that out of the To Do application. Now we're going to take a quick look at how there's a similar capability to manage your planner tasks out of To Do. When we take a look at the to do app, I like to dock mine across off to the side there so it's nice and easy to see a quick list of the tasks that are um, assigned to me or I've, I've set up for my day. Um, I have uh, a flagged email which is um, the more recent uh, capability we've been able to have where we can f flag an email um, and we can then manage that from the, the, t the tasks that we've got to do during the day. Now this is called a smart list called flagged email and it is the same mechanism that has been used to bring in the tasks assigned to you from planner. This is a smart list called assigned to me. Within the uh, settings of to do we can find a, a um, connection to, to planner and so based on your sign in and the licensing of course if you've been licensed to use planner uh, then you can uh, connect to those plans and you'll be able to draw upon the, the tasks that have been assigned to you. So we're going to have a quick look and compare um, the tasks that are assigned to me. Let's just minimize Outlook and get that out of the way. We'll drag to do down and we'll have a look at the assigned to me tasks. Now it's got a green uh, header so this helps you to identify that it is planner. You might notice too the, the planner icon. Um, but Generally, this is just bringing across all the, the tasks that have been assigned to me in, in the persona today of Isaiah Langer. Um, now, if I bring up Planner, let's take a look here. The landing page for Planner, you could have plans that have been created by going to Planner, or you've got plans that are, that are based out of a Microsoft team. Uh, in this case, um, Isaiah has... Uh, um, favorited two of these plans. There are other plans that, that um, Isaiah is involved in and if we have a look at the tasks that have been assigned to him um, when we click through here we can see a default view of the status started or not started in progress or completed but if we change the, gr the, uh, the view to group by plan then you'll get a better indication of how many plans Isaiah is involved in there's one there for a, a product launch event. So this is what we're going to, to focus on today. This task is uh, all about Isaiah having to set up the booth and set up the, the um, uh, area that we're going to be using for the, the event, the launch event. And so this is Isaiah's, um, one of the key roles that he has to fill. Now if we go back to our product launch events, uh, then we can find that task there. There it is, to do, day of the event, it's been assigned to Isaiah. If we go back over to our list of assigned to me tasks, it's in there somewhere. And this is one of the, the first things that I would suggest uh, as, as a focus for the to do team is, is coming up with different ways to view this list. It's good that we can see the tasks that are assigned to me, but I also want to be able to see these tasks um, separately, potentially grouped or um, uh, you know, in, in terms of being able to see where these tasks are from. Now we can see, uh, for example, the task that we are looking at just below it that it is part of the product launch event plan and as we open up that task we can see some of the details. I've added some additional next steps uh, to break down this task so that I know what I can do to, to complete this task. I want to plan the event setup, I want to run through that plan and then I also want to have a, a rehearsal of that plan. Uh, we can go through and open this task up in Planner. 
And uh, this is a nice thing too that we were able to do with the flagged email. It's a way of connecting through to see that task in more detail. Take a look at some of the things we can already see though in Todo. I have the next steps. I can see the due date. I can see that, it, of course, it's been assigned to me because that's what the list is all about. And I can see some notes. Um, now, if we wanted to see some other things like the conversation around the task, this is when we do have to open it in Planner. Now, take care that you are signed into the right, um, the right uh, session if you're working across different Office 365 accounts. Hopefully, in most cases, you're not. Uh, it will open up the Planner and, of course, the plan or rather the task that you have um, have chosen to open. So you can see it's the same. Um, I can see uh, what's missing from this view here. We don't see necessarily the, the progress, whether it started or not. Um, we don't see what bucket it belongs to. Um, true, it doesn't say the to-do bucket. Uh, we don't have start date, but we do have a due date we probably would see a description down here. Let's just see if we can whack something in and see uh, if that synchronizes across eventually. Um, and if we go down to looking at comments, this is a comment. Right, so we can see the, the match up here between note and description. I think that uh, if we have some consistency around the label, then this is not necessarily a note, it is a description. And this might be just a hangover because that's what to-do calls it. And so it's matching up that field of description to note. But you notice here, if I click on send, are we going to see any uh, comments coming through in the to-do experience? No, we're not. So these are the key things that you want to keep in mind. If you're wanting to see the conversation around the task, uh, as we uh, often do with with uh, some of the um, uh, task management in this Kanban way is we want to put comments on there and updates and if there's any any blockages. Uh, we also don't see any of the, uh, the, the flags there too. But that's okay, that's some of the differences. Now some of the benefits here, if we um, go back to the to-do view of things, is that I can, as an individual, uh, manage what I want to work on during my day. And this can now include planner tasks. So if I have flagged email, which I have added the expense report to my day, I need to put together my expense report. Um, I've also added that uh, I've got to pick up some gear from Megan for, for taking some pictures. I can also add um, the day of event set up to my, my day list. Now, if we go back to my day, I've got three tasks that I'm planning to work on today and I can um, organize that based on some of my priorities there. I might just uh, put that there as a, as a task to work on and then just finish my day off with the expense report. But there is one thing I have noticed, if you just noticed it there too. When I dragged that um, assigned to me task, <laughs> it disappeared. It's no longer there on my My Day list. Let's go back in here and have a look. Has it, has it been removed? Uh, day of event setup? Yes, it has been removed from My Day. So it looks like that's one drawback uh, or one early bug potentially of adding it to My Day that we can't change the order of, of where that task is. It tends to or it seems to remove the My Day um, flag uh, or filter. One last thing to, to note too, because this task has a date assigned to it, then it is considered a planned task. If we go into our planned view, you'll also see the the task as um, that, that it is featured in this list and that it is later or due later, much later in fact, in January 2020. Um, so it is a, an event way off in the, in the future. But all up, I'd say this is a great first effort for the integration between Planner and To Do. It allows me to manage my tasks in one place, whether it be personal tasks, tasks that have come out of my uh, flagged email, um, and of course the Planner tasks there. So I can group them all together in my day, and I can I can get on with it. So uh, next time we'll uh, we'll cover off this experience from the mobile. We'll have a look at how the To Do and uh, Planner integration works across the mobile and uh, if you're keen on seeing more of this content then feel free to subscribe and let me know if you uh, um, if you've got any other ideas or thoughts around this uh, feel free to drop them in the comments below thanks for watching